for our today's session the policy cafe which is coffee at this on the theme in our dated and our stable understanding the security implications of climate change climate change and security has been a part of bips's journey right from the start we were perhaps the first organization in bangladesh to look at the security dimensions of climate change there's a lot of work that has happened in bangladesh on climate change overall but our focus ladies and gentlemen is on the security implications of climate change so i think climate security as a discourse is going to get more momentum we are also very privileged to have with us ms aisha kubir the editor of prathamalo english which is the english edition of the daily prathamalo the largest circulating newspaper in bangladesh in an dated and unstable understanding the security implications of climate change that's our topic a uh, broad topic for today and we'll go into much more details so let me come straight to the point and general money so what uh, why has climate concern become such a vital issue in the 21st century the reason i think climate has become a security issue is for the reason that it has an all encompassing impact all across the sectors unfortunately the countries which are weak and vulnerable are also the countries that are on the front line of facing the challenges of climate security These challenges are really grave and as president joe biden termed it in the bigger security conference it is a threat that poses existential threat to many states the other states in the pacific are suddenly in the category who have all the security implications of climate change nothing else would you believe that 40% of the global population lives within 100 kilometers of the coast our civilizations have grown up along the coast our economic life is based on the coast so are our infrastructures so when you have almost half the global population living on the 100 km from the coast any impact of sea level rise is going to directly impact everybody because some of the major ports today on which our supply chain is based are going to go out of the water it will be creating the largest mass human displacement in history creating millions of climate refugees the new Biden administration in the US now is putting emphasis on climate security and special on by John Kerry at the Munich Security Conference recently so as i said in the opening remarks the climate security discourse especially under the current administration in the united states is going to become a very significant hot topic in international issue so it is very important for us in bangladesh to actually highlight our challenges and seek the right international support so i'm very pleased to see that we have been invited to this conference thank you i think to implement all these things to implement the security issues related to the climate change uh the world uh the uh, the whole world i mean including all the stakeholders the governments the ngos private sector similar to protests they need to sit together across the board and find out some innovative financing to address this challenge thank you so much how are we thinking about integrating climate into our future economic development plans in a way that can actually grow prosperity um you know and also mitigate the huge threat that it poses sustainability requires capital enormous influx of capital what does it imply to um different forms of environmental activism in bangladesh where we are supposed to have free speech regarding our environment action the more environment and focus so what does it mean to you for the adult um, activists who want to see a change in the environmental uh, scenario of our country have a saying and i said in spanish is something like no dejes que lo urgente este aparte de lo importante which means something like don't let urgent matters to overshadow important matters and i have the feeling with climate change that it is a very important matter it has always been important matter but it has never been 
parking, where are we as a stakeholder, as a future stakeholder of the effects of climate change in the decision making process right now? Because climate change, the effects are not just going to happen in a day. The solutions are not going to happen in a day either. So moving forward, where are we as a stakeholder? Where do we make our voices heard? Bringing the youth voice more strongly, who are concerned about their future, or on a more cynical basis, maybe we will wake up after a climate Pearl Harbor. We will probably wake up after we have a major global disaster due to climate change. All I can say in summary is that for countries like Bangladesh, which already has a plethora of other challenges, climate security could emerge as a major challenge and become an obstacle on our path towards greater development. We meet at a time which is very historic for Bangladesh. We have just graduated out of the least developed country uh, status into a developing country which we are all very proud of. But we have to address these challenges. We have to work, all of us have to work together with the government of Bangladesh, the civil society, the international organization, and all our international friends, those present in this room and other ones as well, to find a common solution.